We have just arrived in Austria and we will be visiting four cities and we are going to be showing you some of the best things to do here in winter on a budget. The first stop we'll be making is Innsbruck. Innsbruck is a charming city with an adventurous side. It is surrounded by gorgeous snow-capped mountains and numerous ski resorts. And of course, we had to try out some winter sports. When I top the mountain, the view here is crazy. I've never seen snow that is powdery. It's like a dream come true. I'm nervous, it looks so steep and there are people doing flips and stuff. So we spent the day snowboarding and falling on her butts but overall we had a lot of fun and it was a solid 10 out of 10 experience. Next up we visited Swarovski Crystal Worlds. It was built to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Swarovski. Here there are 18 themed exhibitions, even outdoor installations on everything featuring Swarovski crystals and unfortunately we couldn't bring any of them home. Our next stop was to check out the home of Mozart, Red Bull and the Sound of Music. Salzburg is a city that's bursting with culture. So start off in the old town, it is the town's main shopping street before heading around to the various iconic landmarks such as the Salzburg Cathedral, one of the city's most important religious buildings, the Mirabel Palace, a huge complex where Julie Andrews performed the song Do Re Mi in the old time classic The Sound of Music and the Hohen Salzburg Fortress, Central Europe's biggest fully preserved castle. So we're now at the Salzburg Fortress. It's been around since the 11th century and it's very nice. It's a great view. It's 500 meters above sea level, so you can see the whole city of Salzburg. You can also visit the childhood home of the famed composer Mozart. It is now converted into a museum furnished with original furniture, portraits and instruments on display. And right before leaving Salzburg, drop by Hangar 7. Here you'll find a collection of really cool Red Bull aircrafts and F1 cars on display. Next up, we are heading to Hallstatt. This iconic village is only 75 minutes from Salzburg. It's a small village of 750 residents, but millions of tourists flock here each year for its picture postcard views. And everywhere along this old town is worthy to be on a postcard. But for the best views, head to Hallstatt Skywalk. We just took the funicular up and we're now on the skywalk and the view is crazy. You can see the whole village here and the snowy mountains, the trees, the small cute little houses. Hallstatt is also home to the world's oldest salt mine, which is over 7,000 years old. The salt mine tour includes hologram displays, wooden slides and even a miner's train ride. You are literally being put in the shoes of a salt miner and overall it was a really unique experience and we highly recommend this when you're in Austria. And for our final stop, we'll be heading to Austria's stunning capital, Vienna. This city is a vibrant blend of the old and the new with lots of historical landmarks to see and explore, but we are here to check out the food. So Vienna is a city that really takes pride in its food, so we're going to be trying some desserts, some street food and even try making schnitzel. Making schnitzel, yeah, you heard that right. So we learn all about Viennese cuisine in the cooking class with a local chef. Class was a lot of fun. You get to learn some traditional recipes. You get to live with a full belly. You get to hear a lot of stories from a local. Moving on to dessert, of course we had to opt for the most sinful cake we could find. This chocolate cake with apricot jam and whipped cream dates back to 1832 and is now a household name in Austria. And right before our last activity, we couldn't help but to squeeze in a bite at a Wurzel stand or a sausage stand. It's a perfect snack when the weather is chilly. And to end off our time in Austria, we hit up the ice skating rink at City Hall. It's a massive 9,500 square meter space with different themed skating rings. It's all decorated with pretty lights and it was just so much fun to explore in this space. There is still so much we didn't get to see and do during this trip but we hope that this video helps with planning your next winter getaway. So till next time Austria and we will see you in the next video.